everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Meredith E. Phillips, and you saw, you saw my stupid little morning. My glasses broke again. If you were here back in August, my glasses, my old pair of glasses, literally split in the middle of the nose bridge section. So there was a whole fiasco of like, we have to go get emergency glasses because I can't see anything without them. These glasses are not that old. They're only from August. And the screw that holds like the frame bit here to the stem, like it was just loose. And I was like, okay, I've had glasses since second grade. You just tighten it with a little mini screw driver and it's fine. It would not tighten. It was like completely stripped. How did that happen in like four months? I don't know. They're on my face all day. I don't even fold them when I take them off at night. I just put them down on the table. <laughs> So anyway, we had to run all the way down to this glasses place. My husband had to drive me because I couldn't see anything and the drivers around here are crazy so I wasn't gonna drive 25 miles, like blind practically. So anyway, they were able to fix it, yay. But it's Friday, the 17th, that's exciting. I kind of did the same thing like I did last week. I did not vlog yesterday. I did do my writing, I got 2,000 words. What am I at total? I'm just over 37,000 words now. So I'm right on, tra right on track, I'm ahead of schedule really, but it feels good. We are solidly in act three, like you saw in the last vlog, and I'm excited to see how this uh, finishes up. Now, before we jump into writing work, I do wanna chat a little bit about NaNoWriMo, the organization. I haven't seen, I don't think, a whole lot of people here on YouTube talking about it, so I'm not sure if you've seen anything. If you haven't, I will have a bunch of links below in the description. But there's some really gross things happening, like illegal things happening. It's a lot. It's a lot. I started seeing stuff back on Tuesday this week. Uh, there were a few people over on Instagram posting like, I'm not doing NaNoWriMo, I'm not gonna have anything to do with them, I'm deleting my account, and I was like, what the heck is happening? And then it really wasn't until later on Wednesday that I was able to sit down and like comb through it because there is a huge, huge, huge amount of information. I've read hundreds of posts over on the NaNoWriMo forums. I've looked at stuff on Reddit. There's a Twitter thread I went through to see more information from other people. There's a lot. I am not gonna go into all of the specifics of what is happening here. I would highly encourage you though to check out the forum posts that I'm gonna link in the description. There were, basically the forms are shut down right now. The staff, any moderators, do not have access to the forums. It is being moderated and controlled at the moment by the board of directors. That's how, that like you can't go any higher than the board of directors. <laughs> go check that out. The posts are long. The post, like the initial posts from the directors is a, it's a long post. I think the posts are really well written. They're very straightforward. They are very transparent. As transparent as they can be, like there's HR issues. So of course, like they can't name certain people or say exactly like what's happened to them, you know, that kind of thing. So, but they're, they're interacting with the people in the comments. And I think they're doing a pretty good job of at least giving me hope that things can be fixed. In any case, some of the things that were going on were really heinous. From what I have seen, it does appear that there were FBI reports filed. Like this is a big, this is not just some like, this person wasn't being nice to me. Like it's, it's a bigger issue than that. And so a lot of people have said that's not anything I want to have anything to do with and they've just completely stepped away from the organization as a whole which honestly like if that's something you feel like you need to do go ahead I don't feel like that's um a bad response at all I'm struggling though with like well what do I do what do I do with all of this information that's come out you know I love the challenge of NaNoWriMo I love the community aspect to it. I love the excitement and the energy that is infused in the writing community at this time of year. Um, I have a lot of really good memories and good experiences within the month of November over the last several years. So to see that this kind of thing has, uh, it, it is tainted. It's tainted for sure. I think at this point, I'm not really ready to make some sort of like final decision for myself in terms of like, do I continue to support this or don't I? I'm very interested to see how the board of directors handles things over the next several months. 
next many months probably. Some of the solutions and suggestions being put forward both by the directors and other members of the community are like, they're not just a quick fix. They're not just, oh, we just need to change this one thing or, oh, we just need to clarify this policy or da, 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 da. like, no, these are things that are gonna take months to not, to just to figure out like how to do some of them, much less than implement them. It's gonna be a long journey for them over the next probably, you know, several months to a year, I would think. And I'm very interested to see what conclusions they come to, what new changes they implement, and I think at that point is when I'm gonna feel more comfortable making a choice for myself in terms of how I'm relating to the organization anymore. It feels very much like you're at the beginning of a journey, right? I also think too, with this kind of thing, you get a lot of information up front when everything starts to come out, you get a lot of information and then it, there's always more information that follows weeks, months later, there's new stuff that comes to light or there's new things that happen or something. And so it feels a little knee jerk to me at the moment to decide again, like decide one way or the other. So for me personally, my choice for myself is to watch and see what's happening. There are a slew of ways that the board of directors could absolutely mess this up. They could make terrible choices. They could go a different direction that is not serving the community. It's not serving the writers. Um, from their posts and the way they're interacting with the other people in the forums, I, it feels very hopeful to me. They seem like they really want to get this right and fix a whole host of different issues. I'm, I'm a pretty optimistic person, I think, most of the time. So right now I am trusting that they're gonna do their job and start to fix the issues that are present. And I feel like if they fix things to the satisfaction of myself, but also the community at large, of course, then I have no problem continuing to support the organization. If, however, we get like six months down the road and like nothing's been done, nothing's been decided, people are still in place that maybe shouldn't be in place anymore, then I'm gonna ha I'm gonna be a little more wary. So yeah, for me, I feel like I'm kind of in a holding pattern about the whole thing. If you've been paying attention to this, or maybe this is the first time you're hearing about it and you're looking at all those links in the description, like, what are your thoughts? What are you thinking? What, I don't know, what do you, what do you think about this whole situation? I am still, of course, gonna continue writing. I do still plan to finish this draft this month. NaNoWriMo has nothing to do with my writing. I can write whether or not they are there or not. And I do think I'm still gonna keep updating on the website, like just my, you know, I use the word tracker on there and everything. Because honestly, like, I saw some people who were like, I'm deleting my account and da da da, which is fine, again, they can make their own choice. But for me, like, my entire writing journey, like the history of what I've done is on their website. All of, all of the past projects I've done, all of the individual daily, uh, you know, word counts and how, how the month went for me and all that kind of stuff, it's all on there. So I really hate the idea of like deleting that. I don't know, I don't feel like there's a way to download it. I mean, I guess I could take like screenshots of stuff, but it's nice having that record. I don't know, I don't know. So I am still gonna continue writing because that has nothing to do with NaNoWriMo. I'm just gonna sit back and watch and observe and listen and see what happens next. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For now though, it is Friday and I did get a little bit of work done this morning, not a huge amount, like 400 some words. I'm gonna try to write a little bit more before our little meetup later this evening. It'd be great to hit my 2K for the day before the meeting. I just, I, I like going because I like seeing the different people who are there, but I really, it's really hard for me to concentrate and actually do meaningful writing work because there's too many, there's too many things around to look at and then there's like the overhead music and it's, it's, it's too much other like uh, distractions for me. I'm gonna try to get uh, a little bit more done before I have to leave for that. But yeah, I'll check back in with you a little later once I am back to writing. All right, good afternoon, hey, hi, hello. Uh, it is almost 4.30. I took that little dog of ours, one of the little dogs of ours, on a walk. 
shouldn't have said it so loud. They know the W word. It's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, I took her on a little a little thingy. Just kind of not wear her out, but you know, get some get some energy out. So hopefully I can do some writing here. I've I've got less than an hour. I'm still at 400 some words. So if I could hit a thousand in like 40 minutes, that would be great. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe hitting 2000 today isn't going to happen. We'll see. You know, I'm, I'm ahead of the goal. So it's, you know, if I have a sub 2000 word day, it's not like it's going to hurt me. I actually, <laughs> I was scrolling through my outline just now to be like, wait, what scene is even coming next? And it's, it's going to be cute. Hopefully. I mean, it, a lot of these scenes sounded cute in the outline and they're not coming out so cute, but maybe this one will be. We'll see. But yeah, let me get started on this and see what I can get done before it's time to leave. Okay, it is just now five o'clock. I've hit a thousand words for the day, which is all right. I'm gonna try bringing my headphones with me so I can listen to like some ambient music or something to hopefully <laughs> Help me focus during the writing sprints I know we'll be doing. The only problem is I'm, I have to use my old, 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 old laptop for going out because obviously this can't come with me. <laughs> this laptop is so slow and the battery just like, it goes very quickly. So I'm not sure how it'll handle both having Scrivener open and me typing in it while like an internet browser is also open with music playing. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but we'll see what it does and if that'll help me concentrate. It'd be awesome if I could get at least par for the day, 1667. I don't, I, I cannot imagine writing a thousand words during like a couple sprints at an IHOP. Doesn't seem super likely. Crazier things have happened, but probably not in the cards. So we'll do what we can if we're still a little low, I, I'm just not going to care for today. It's fine. I'm at 38,000 words overall now, so that's exciting. Only, oh, we're very, we're very close to 40K. <laughs> I just am now realizing that. Good job. Anyway, I'll see you at the IHOP, probably with some very bare minimal, bare minimum, bare minimum kinds of clips. See you there. We're here for the cozy vibes. The cozy vibes. Today we've got the grandma sweater on. I have, I'm not going to lift my leg that high. Trust me though, I have on cozy pants. We have the cozy candle going. Cozy. Even though it is in the mid 70s outside, we're not going to talk about that because inside here we're just being cozy. We're going to have a cozy writing day. I had a great time last night at the write in. I did manage to write enough words, although hilariously, I forgot I forgot the headphones so I had to just like use my mind powers to concentrate which I did I wrote something like five or six hundred words between two different sprints and that put me over par for the day at least I finished the day with I think it was 1697 words so I was happy with that it put my total word count at 39,000 so you know today, unless disaster befalls us, we're gonna be hitting 40K. We're getting real close, we're getting real close. So my goal for today, I'm gonna try to get 3000 words, I think. If I could do three today and three tomorrow, that would be pretty awesome. I can definitely finish 50,000 words before Thanksgiving, which would be great. Thanksgiving, of course, of course. <laughs> because everyone on the planet knows when Thanksgiving is. It's the 23rd this year, Thursday the 23rd, which feels very early. I guess that's one of almost as early as it can be. But um, yeah, I'm excited for Thanksgiving and I definitely am gonna take that day off, at least for the most part. I might try to write just like a paragraph so I can update the website and get the badge for, <laughs> for like completing the update every day or whatever it is badge. If I can finish by Thanksgiving with the 50K, that'll still give me a full week to finish the story. Another 10 or 15,000 words, which I should definitely be able to hit within a week. So it is a little late this morning. It's like 11 o'clock, almost 11 o'clock. Um, I just sort of was like, you know, we're just being cozy. I was just taking my time, getting ready. 
I put in some laundry. It was thrilling. I posted this over on Instagram, but I'd love to hear suggestions from you guys too. This is totally not writing related, by the way. At the end of December, between Christmas and New Year's, I usually take that week off work because literally who is going to the office between Christmas and New Year's, no one. And so I have that time off again this year. And what I'm really hoping to do in that week off is spend some time watching some movies that I've never seen slash one mini series, but we'll get to it. So these are like the most vastly different films that you could possibly put on one list, I think. But they're ones that I've either I've heard about for a long time or I've been interested in watching for a long time and I just haven't done it. So I'm going to tell you the four that I have in mind. If you have any other just like whatever random movie that you would suggest watching, let me know. Ideally something that's available on Amazon Prime because I think what I'll just do is buy like a month of that so I can get access to these because these are all on Amazon. No Netflix. I'm not, I don't really want to buy a month of Netflix. I don't have Netflix. And no TV shows. I'm not interested in like watching like 20 seasons of this show. Like movies, movies. Okay. Also no Marvel. Not interested in superheroes. So the four that I'm <laughs> gonna try to watch first is these are in no particular order the first one though that is on my list is tarkovsky's 1975 film mirror i know absolutely nothing about this film other than every list that cinefix does it's like on their list they're obsessed with this movie it's cited on numerous places as like one of the greatest films of all time okay <laughs> so i'm like wanting to watch that i've heard it's kind of weird and different Sounds good. Number two on the list is In the Mood for Love, which is a 2000 film from Japan. I'm pretty sure it's like a sad, like it's not going to end well, so I'm probably going to cry. But the reason I really want to see this movie is the cinematography it looks gorgeous. It looks so pretty. It's just this vibrant, colorful film. I'm really interested to see it. So there's that. Then next on the list is the BBC miniseries from 2004, North and South. I've never seen it. It's not even that long. There's only four hour long like episodes or whatever. It's like a period drama. Okay. It has like Pride and Prejudice vibes. Yes. So that's on the list. And then finally, don't be mad. Okay. Don't be angry with me, but I've never seen I've never seen Howl's Moving Castle. I know. Everyone on the planet has seen this thing. I've never seen it. So that's on the list also. A Russian film, two Japanese films, oddly enough, an animated film, a BBC miniseries. Very different. Very different. Yeah, let me know if you have any like random off the wall suggestions for things that I might want to watch in my time off. And now let's write. Let's try to get a thousand words before noon. That could be a good goal and then we'll see where the afternoon takes us from there. Okay, look at that. Right before noon, we've hit a thousand words for the day and we've hit 40,000 words overall. Dee -dee -dee. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take a little break, just real quick, just stand up and walk around for a second, maybe check on Junie. I thought she, we have a little bowl of pellets in there for her, and she eats a lot overnight, and when I went in there this morning, the bowl was empty, and I was like, oh, good job, Junie, you ate so many pellets, and then I was straightening out some of the blankets, and all the pellets had gotten, like, hidden under a blanket, so... Anyway, so let me go check on her, make sure she hasn't done anything weird with the blanket situation, and I'll be back to this in a minute. All right, it's 1.30 now. I just hit 2,000 words, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna take a little bit longer of a break now just to grab some lunch or something, uh, but I don't wanna take too long because the later it gets in the afternoon, it's just harder. It's Once it hits like two or three o'clock, I feel like I'm just like done for the day. I don't know. Uh, so a little bit of food, and then hopefully we can finish up the last 1,000 words for the day and uh and be done for until tomorrow pretty good
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're done. We're done. 3,000 words, some of which are incredibly bad. It's really bad. Um, but they're there. They're there at least. Oh man, I'm definitely tired. And I don't really want to look at this computer for a little while. So, I've got other stuff I need to do today. So I better get to it. Got to finish out that laundry. Really, absolutely thrilling stuff. But I'll leave you for today. We'll be back here tomorrow. We'll try to do another 3,000 words. Ugh, we'll see how far I can get. Pushing, pushing toward the end. We're getting close. I'll see you tomorrow. Look at this. Look at all this little fluff. Look at these fluffies. Ah, look at her. Being a cutie. I do not understand how she is comfortable in that thing, but she goes in there voluntarily. Oh well. <laughs> It's kind of late. It's 1130. I did go to the grocery store this morning and spent an obscene amount of money because it's Thanksgiving this coming week. And so I had to do all like the Thanksgiving shopping. And of course we were also out of like bigger bulk kind of items like toilet paper and paper towels and like some of those kind of things you don't have to buy like all the time. But of course when you run out, you always run out of all the big things on like the same week. So anyway, um, that's done, hopefully. I was at the store and I kept remembering like other things I needed to get in order to make the things on Thursday. I feel like I've forgotten something, but I'll just run out one evening, I guess, this week. I'm gonna be honest, 3,000 words for today, not, mm, I don't know about that. I'm gonna try to just get 2K and we'll see how far that takes us into this story. I feel like I'm kind of, I don't know. I was looking ahead to some of the scenes that are left and I've messed up so much of like the story. I don't know, this draft is a freaking mess. I don't, I don't know how much longer, how many more words there really are. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna hit 60,000 words. That seems like a lot. Who knows? We'll definitely hit 50,000 though, because what are we at? Like 42 total? Yeah, we're at 42,034 words or something like that. So we'll be hitting that 50K in the next couple days for sure. That'll be exciting. Let me get this pulled up and get started on something. Do a thousand words and then maybe break for lunch and then finish it out with another thousand. Let's try it. I just feel very sluggish and slow today but we're gonna push for the words. Let's do it. Um, that was one of the best writing sessions I've had this whole time. <laughs> oh, it was really good. I maybe had a little lump in my throat at one part. It was good. Okay, I've written 2300 words. It's like quarter after one at this point. I've just been writing because this came out very good. I'm very excited. This is a chat between the main hero character and his father. I love his dad. I also maybe invented a backstory for him and maybe he now needs a novella, like a prequel. No, okay, <laughs> focus on this first. This turned out good. Oh, dad with the wisdom. I love his dad. Okay, I'm very happy with this. I haven't been this happy with a scene, I think since like those first one or two chapters I wrote. <laughs> but I'm gonna be done for today. 2,300 words, 2,300 easy words, honestly, but I finished the scene, so I'm just gonna be done. Yeah, oh, I liked it a lot. Very good, we're, we're very close to the end. I really only have like three or four scenes left to go. I'm at 44,353 words total. I've definitely got at least 6,000 words left in me for this book. 60K, I don't know, that might maybe be too much. Whatever, we will write until it's finished regardless of that word count. But that also is kind of like the end for this. This wild, I'm just like still kind of like, wow, that came out so good. <laughs> good job, me. Anyway, I will be back on Friday. We're gearing up for the last week, week and a half of NaNoWriMo or whatever it is that you're participating in this year, this month, this whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you there on a high note. Amazing. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays this month. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.